Hi and welcome back. Now we will see how we can optimize our parameters using Excel. Yes, you heard that right, we will use Excel to optimize the parameters, the weight and the bias. I have defined the data here, we have x ranging from 1 to 5 and we have y that is 2 times the values of x. We have defined the weight and the bias. The weight is equal to 5 and the bias is equal to 1. Also, I have a parameter alpha that is equal to 0 0.01. There are two more parameters that I have included. Those are the, a modified weight and a modified bias that I will use in the second step. They are modified in such a way that I have added 0 0.001 to the original values of the weight and the bias. We will start off by doing the forward propagation, so we calculate y hat by taking every value of x, multiplying it with the weight and adding the bias. And we do this for all of the x points. Then we calculate the error by taking the prediction value, the y hat, and subtracting the y, and we get the loss by squaring the error. Now the next step is to find the difference between this loss and this one. This is simple, we just take the this loss and we subtract this loss from it and we get a value of 0 0.008 what can we do with this difference between the losses well we first find the difference between the weights which is 0 0.001 and then we divide this difference between the losses with the difference between the weights and we get these values later on with these values we can calculate the gradient how can we achieve this well, we just take the sum of all of these values and we divide them with the total number of data in the variable x, which is 5. After finding this gradient, we can optimize our parameter, weight, the weight. We take the original value of the weight, which is 5, and we subtract the alpha, or the learning rate, multiplied with this gradient. So we get a value of 4.27 989. Now, after optimizing the weight, we need to optimize the bias. We do all of the same as we did before. We calculate y hat depending on the weight and the bias, the original values. And we get the loss, which is the same as here as before. But here, when we calculate the, the values for the modified uh, weight and bias, we just take the, the bias, modif the modified bias. So, we multiply the value of x with the original value of the weight and we add the modified bias. And we do this for all of these steps. And then we calculate the error and the loss. We find the difference between the losses by subtracting them. And then we find the difference between the biases, the modified bias and the original bias, which is the same as for the weight. And then we simply uh, divide the difference between the losses with the difference between the bias and we get these values. Then to calculate the gradient we take the sum of these values and we divide them with 5. Now we need to optimize the bias. We do it the same way we optimize the weight. So we take the original value for the bias which is 1 and we subtract the learning rate or alpha multiplied with the gradient that we got here and we get the value of 0 0.7999. And then we just keep on doing those iterations. Now we have a new weight and a new bias from the first iteration. The new weight is 4.27989 and the new bias is 0 0.7999. And we just add 0 0.001 to these two values and we get some modified new val values for the weight and the bias. And then we just do the same thing we did in the first iteration, just using these values, and we get this gradient for the new weight and this gradient for the new bias. We can see that it dropped from the previous ones. And then we just stick it in. Here we have a new weight, which is equal to the, the original weight, or the weight after the first iteration, which is 4.27989, and we subtract from it the alpha multiplied with the gradient for the weight and we get a value of 3.73 which is also dropping which is a good sign the main goal was to uh, to get the weight to be 2 and the bias to be 0 
we can see that it was dropping, so after some more iterations the weight should be 2 and the bias should be 0 as we expected. We have talked about the chain rule earlier. Let's see how we can apply the chain rule here. Now, to calculate the chain rule, we need to go from the back to the, be to the beginning. We will start off by calculating the difference between the losses by subtracting loss with this loss here of the modified value and the original value for the weight. Then we will subtract this error and this one. And then we will get the difference between this y hat and this y hat, the predictions. After that, we will calculate the uh, difference between the loss and the error by dividing the uh, difference between the losses with the difference between the errors and we get these values. After that, we calculate the difference between the errors and divide it with the difference between y hats. And we get these values, these are all ones. And then we calculate the difference between y hat divided with the difference between the weights. And it gives us these values. Why are these values so important to us? Well, if we take the, if we multiply this value with this one and with this one, we will get this value, which is the same as this value here. And then if we pull it down here, we get the same values as we get got here. And we can now calculate the gradient. So I will sum these values and I will divide it with 5. And I got the same value for the gradient as I did here. So this, this is the way to calculate the gradient using the chain rule. Now we will see how we can optimize our parameters the same way we did in Excel just by using PyTorch. So we'll define x as a tensor of 5 values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and y will be equal to 2 times the x value. But before we start the coding part let's again look at this computational graph. We have a variable x which is equal to 1, a weight, bias and y. The weight is 5, bias is 1 and the y is equal to 2. So we can see that these values are the same values as the first point in x and the first point in y. So we begin by doing the forward pass. So we go and calculate the prediction value. x times v gives us 5. We add the bias and we get 6. Then we calculate the error. Error is equal to the y hat or the prediction value, which is 6, minus the original or the true label, which is 2. And we get 4. And we square this and we get the, the loss which is equal to 16. And after the forward propagation we need to do a backward propagation in order to calculate the gradients. In Excel we just showed how we can do the chain rule, but here we will show it visually. So with the blue color we can see the local gradients and the red color represent the back propagated gradients. So here the local gradient between the loss and the error is the gradient of the loss with respect to the error. Here the local gradient is the derivative of the error with respect to the y hat and the final gradient is the derivative of y hat with respect to omega or the weight. And to get the final the, uh, the final gradient of the derivative of the loss with respect to the weight, we just multiply all of these local gradients and we get the final gradient. Now let's see how we can do this in Python. We have already defined our x and y variables. Now we need to define the weight and the bias. So the weight will be equal to torch.tensor and we'll set it to be 5 and we will set the required grad option to true. And we also need to define our bias. We'll set it to be 1 and just change it to be b. There are two approaches that we can take on updating or optimizing our weight and bias. We can optimize it for each value of x or we can optimize it based on the whole vector. So we will see first the first approach and then the second one. For the first approach we will create a for loop. So for i value in range len of x. So we will iterate through x and, and optimize the weight based on each value. So we need a local weight that will be equal to 5 and a local bias. So I'll copy this from here and just change the names. 
we need to reset them for each value. So it starts at 5 and 1. Then we will do the for propagation. y hat is equal to the weight multiplied with x at i value plus the bias. And then we will calculate the error. Error is equal to y hat minus i at i value. And the loss will be equal to the error squared. After the loss, we need to do the backward propagation. So loss dot backward. And now we can optimize the parameters. So we need to turn the gradient calculation off. So we will do with torch dot no grad. And we will update this weight and this bias. So w underscore dot data minus equals to the alpha or the learning rate, which we didn't define. And I will do it here. Alpha will be equal to 0 0.01 as we did in Excel multiplied with the local gradient of the weight. So we w dot grad and we need to divide it with five or better with the total len of the data data in X. We will do the same thing for the bias. Just change it from W to B. And after running this piece of code, we will optimize the weight and bias. Now by printing out the weight and the bias, we should get the same values we did in Excel. And that is the case here. We get a tensor of 4.2800 and the bias is equal to 0 0.8. Now this was the first approach. In the second approach we will pass in the whole x vector and we will optimize the weight and bias based on the gradient we get from that. How can we do this? First we define our weight which will be a tensor of value 5 and we pass in a requires grad to be true. Then our bias also a tensor of value 1 and requires grad to true. Remember to make a optimization we first need to make some predictions. So y hat will be equal to x multiplied with the weight plus the bias. After this we will calculate the error. Error is equal to the y hat minus y and the loss will be the error squared. I will run this and this. And remember, the backward propagation now accepts only scalars. So if we print out our loss, we will see it is a vector of five numbers. So we need to make it a scalar. So we will do the following trick loss.mean and we will take the mean value. And we can now do the loss.backward. And after the backward, we can now optimize our parameters. So we will define a learning rate or alpha. We will set it to be 0 0.01. And we'll now update the weight, weight.data minus equals to the alpha multiplied with w.gradient. And we'll do the same for the bias. Just use its gradient. Now we will print out the weight and the bias. And we can see that we get the same results as we got earlier in the, the weight value is 4.28 and the bias value is 0 0.8. And that would be it for this video. If you found this video helpful and you learned something new, drop a like and subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about how the autograd system works and how the computational graphs work, I will leave a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and be safe.